Okay, I'm going to repair this beautiful bench. Uh, the benches you these days find in the garden centers and uh, anywhere that you want a bench, they are profile, they are empty, hollow inside. So they're not very strong, they're not heavy, they will not stand the harsh weather that we have outdoors, especially in allotments where they get mistreated a lot. So I'm going to repair these old ones. I was lucky enough to have this. So. Um, yeah, this is a project to work on. And the flowers are coming out. I've ordered some hardwood, the right size for this. This is the Edwardian bench that I'm going to give a restoration to. It. I bought the hardwood for that, quite a expensive hardwood. But I think it, this bench does worth the extra. And I was worried, because there is a strap here hold this there must be another strap under it as I studied in the YouTube I um, in the internet I found that the pictures show that there is another strap underneath one coming like that at an angle another one coming like that at an angle holding this in the middle giving it extra support of course when you have a hardwood that gives extra support already a lot better than the softwood but I was worried because I was not sure this has that I saw some some of these uh, end cast iron bits in the pictures in the uh, Google search that they didn't have that the straps and hallelujah we have this end straps here that is brilliant that puts this at this if you buy it you can buy these end bits anything from 25 depending on the quality and the state of it 25 to 85 pound but just end bits with that strap, I think that increases the price to anything to 100 <laughs> or more, 125, 30. And that is amazing. I like that. that. That is perfect. My restoration can just start as it is. What I will, I'm thinking to do is to remove the panel part panel. So, I, so the whole structure will not fall out. I'll, I'll remove one panel. I replace it with another hardwood. I remove another, as you call it, stacks. Uh, I remove another stack and put a replacement for it. So all the way I will have the, the structure standing as it is. And eventually I will have the whole restoration done. This is a good example of a Edwardian to um, late Victorian bench, as you see. And I will try to keep this original paint on it because that is the character of the bench. I've seen people color painting them white, yellow, red, even cast, cast iron black, kind of grayish, blackish color. But I think that uh, the color of its own is good. They may have been used in the parks for many decades and then uh, yeah, replaced and given to the scrap yards. And uh, it's good to keep it as it is. Or it has been probably like that, not parks even. Probably in pri uh, private hands. We will see how it is. Okay, this is the Edwardian bench, the first one. Now I've restored it. Uh, I ran out of battery for the drill, uh, cordless drill, so I had to wait a little while for the charge. But now it's finished. It's now about uh, 8 o'clock, it's yet daylight, of course summertime, one hour ahead of the real uh, time. And hallelujah, the Edwardian bench is done. I had to use some of the nuts from the uh, wicks, which are about, simply because uh, I ran out of the 
nuts that uh, originally were with the chair. Uh, they look a little bit uh, out of place, but I will I will paint all of them a little bit green as it is, just to make them match together. And unfortunately, this was a building fault in there. I know that they had to drill a hole here to tap and place the things. So I had to reverse it actually. That was actually the weak point that uh, the bench was broken from there. That was the main reason that it broke from the original wood. So I have to avoid that problem by putting the reverse. So the, head, the bolt is here, the nut, and the actual screw is down. As you see. Now, the only thing which remains is to put this strap back to give it extra support. So that is what I'm going to do now. But practically this is finished. I can sit on it. This is strong enough to hold uh, my weight. That's nice. Oh, such a nice curvature it has. Such a good back support. Oh, all day I was working here. Now look at it. Ah, oh, so pleasant. Gives such a good shape to the back backbone. Oh, really good. I'm really delighted with this. The second one is there. Uh, I don't think it needs more than one, two stra uh, sta stacks. Or one even, probably. Just put on the lower part of it. The rest of it, I think, is all right. It can work another time. Uh, another several couple of years. I will add uh, these straps that are about instead of the missing ones. I bought this from the Wix one pound, uh, um, one pound of four pence. They are not that thick and uh, as good as the original ones. You can compare the thickness here. That hoping by the profile it can give you support. I think. Anyway, Edwardian bench. Okay, the strap for the Edwardian bench is also now attached, and I'm now going to. Make it upright. Okay, Edwardian bench, the first one, is now finished. I've attached also the strap back. I use, a, I use this uh, Sapile hardwood, which is a kind of mahogany-like uh, wood. I think this uh, bench deserves such a good quality. It just was a little bit costly, but at the end of the day, I'm going to use it for ourselves and that's the way. I want to have the best if I can afford it. And why not? And uh, the Edwardian bench, back it to its original glory. Imagine this is 1908 or 1910, 1910, and this is the bench to enjoy. I'm going to sit on it. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, so cozy, so lovely. The curvature of this bench, so lovely. Oh, mm, just mimics the contours of the body. Best. I could use the a little bit, uh, yeah, blunt and round these edges, but at the moment they, they're all right. They look all right. I don't need more than this. That's all right. This is back to working days. You can sit here, yeah, think, read. Even you can put, oh, that's rude. I see people do it, but you can put if you are on your own and see your home or without shoes, of course, you remove your shoes. That's very rude also with shoes. But uh, like that, just sitting and reading. You can put a cushion here, just uh, in the hot summer days, just enjoy. That's what we are going to do with this lovely Edwardian bench. Look at the quality of the wood, look at the grains and the lines. I like that. Even the train likes that.
this is the first Edwardian bench now restored with the quality hardwood and yesterday which was Friday three people were sitting on it two of them at least more than 100 kilograms and uh, was probably around 300 kilos of weight was on this chair the hardwood is stood the test of this and now because it's such a good chair I'm going to just such a good bench I'm going to uh, splash a little bit on this and just go and use this hardwood garden furniture oil round seal and uh, yeah it does deserve we had the rain today now you see as if nothing I already have treated it with some uh, wood treatment uh, solution and uh, now I'm will do the uh, furniture oil added to this just to preserve it a little bit better this is a good bench okay this is my second Edwardian bench this one actually probably doesn't need much repair the, the stacks are working they are there they look to me hardwood just one missing here I have that but that is already damaged so uh, I have to do something for that. Also something which joins the middle stack here is missing probably. I will put something here as like a strap to see how it will be. There was no back strap on this one. The size of the stacks are the same. So this is a little project and uh, I may keep the original paint of this if I see that uh, makes it more attractive. I like the way that they are, as it is. Anyway, this is the second Edwardian bench. It has a lion face, I like that. It has been rubbed so much that the actual cast iron is now visible. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. This is another gift from my other Irish friend nice to have Irish family members uh, he was using it for several years now it seems he's getting tired of sitting so <laughs> finding a new home for this what is it what's underneath if there is anything I can do <laughs> no it doesn't seem that he needed that Something here, probably here, here, these two points. <laughs> okay. There was something a strap like. So I will use a normal galvanized strap. They're thinner than the uh, older ones, but anyway, we will see how, how it goes. As you see, it has all the good signs of a. Uh, workmanship from the last century, early last century. Sturdy, strong, good wood from, from the colonies. It looks like a sapile or sapile, hardwood. And uh, yeah, good cast iron. You see the sign of the, some forging also probably. But the rest of it is uh, huh. cast iron. We will see. No, no, that's definitely the sign of a mold. That's a mold, molded cast iron. That seam is where the two parts of the mold come together. Sand mold. Yeah, it looks all right. And that's a new project. I like the shape of these lions. Imperial lions, as if, kind of. <laughs> now, it's beginning a new life. Can you believe this, this chair is older than all of us? I don't think any of the people who watch this video can be as old as this chair. Like the big universe, of course. It's older than all of us. The guardian bench. 
the second. I like the look of this. Another Edwardian bench restored. I've used the tick oil on this one. Just for the sake of experimentation, tick oil, tick oil from Wix. Um, it was full of algae and uh, lichen. But uh, it's now done. I'm doing the rest bit. I'm doing it for a friend. Actually. I should be now practically I'm becoming a <laughs> restorer. I'm going everywhere and doing restoration of Edwardian benches. Oh, this wood is hardwood when I was scraping and uh, sanding it. I noticed that uh, it has a, a red Pinch to the deep dark red, so it must be hardwood, probably sapphire. And as you see, when you use a tick oil on it, because it was for, for a very long time outside, it goes kind of walnut brown near black. Job done. Okay, this beautiful um, set of bench and table needed just uh, a little bit preservation. Restoration in, in the way of restoration, um, not much. But what I did, I um, applied a layer or several layers of the Danish oil. It's yet waiting, uh, waiting to be dried, but hopefully when it is done. That's the way to go. As you see, oh, hello. It's a beautiful bench table set. Come on, Adam, boy, where's he gone? Where's he gone to? Do you want to show this? Yes. You've done a good job, mate. Thank you.